Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, welcome in. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my impressions of the Delphonics utility um, pouch that I purchased before I went on vacation in July to uh, bring all my crafty stuff with me. If you are a subscriber, you will have noticed that I kind of disappeared in July, which is because that's when my family's vacation is, and I kind of just took the whole month off in a way. <laughs> so my first impressions upon unpacking is that this is a very well done little utility pouch, and I really like the fabric. It's n a nice, um, sturdy cotton, I think a cotton duck-like. And it has um, many, many pockets here, as you can see. So there's lots of opportunity to fit many different size tools here and there. And you will see um, in the video as I fill it up. When it comes to you, it actually has a big foam block in the inside to, I guess, prevent the, the bag from getting misshapen or anything. And it's actually a pretty nice sturdy block of foam and I hate to throw it away because I feel like it could be useful which maybe that's just the artist in me but um, the interior here as you can see has little um, pouches inside as well so it's got lots of little places to nooks and crannies to like slip things into so the first thing I wanted to do, because this case is A5 size, I wanted to see if it could fit my um, Hobonichi cover with my Midori in there. I didn't think it would, but it actually does. Look at that. And it even zips up and everything, and there's still spare room for your little knickknacks and bric-a-brac and all sorts of stuff. So I wanted to experiment with all of the different things that I could fit in the Delphonics case and you will be seeing my little pencil case here frequently in this video and I will save the pencil case for a separate video, my review on that. So now I think I'm just going to um, speed through some footage of me playing around to see what exactly would fit inside this case and um, you can see for yourself how much it holds. For the most part, I wanted to primarily use this for art supplies and a few journaling supplies. As you can see, I'm getting them out here. Some of them fit quite well and others, like because of the case that it's in, it didn't quite fit, but it also would fit on the inside. I found that the little inside pouch was actually pretty nice for carrying a handful of Copics that I wanted to use. Full size scissors will also fit, but I felt they were a little awkward on the outside, so I ended up sliding these on the inside, which wasn't a big deal. I like to try to limit myself when packing, so it is very difficult to just narrow down to a handful of Copics, of course. Um, but. Oftentimes I find if I bring like whole sets of things, I don't even end up using it. So <laughs> I think smaller is better. For a hot minute, I thought I would try to fit my pencil sharpeners in there, but they really didn't fit well. So they went back into the pencil case. Part of my video footage is just me um, trying to figure out what would fit, not necessarily what I wanted to bring. Um, I did fancy bringing my oil pastels at one point, but I decided against it. However, I would like to say that it's very tight, but you can definitely fit the entire box of the Rembrandt oil pastels in here, if you so desire. I mean, there you go. And I also finagled um, to get my little mini sketchbook in there as well. So this little case can really, it can really hold a lot. You can really push it to its limits. With those things in it though, you can see that it's really, um, it's definitely tightly packed. But there is still a little bit of space that you could still put things in the outside pockets. So that was pretty nice to see, but you can kind of see how how fat it's gotten with um, with the oil pastels in there. 
The next experiment was to see if I could fit my Paul Rubens watercolor set in here. Um, I've already done a review video on the Paul Rubens watercolor set. I, I really like it. It is my traveling set because it is fairly inexpensive for artist quality colors. And if it got lost, well, yes, I would be incredibly sad, especially because I stick my Escoda brushes in here. But um, it wouldn't be as much of a loss as if I had lost, like, my um, Holbein's or uh, my Schmincke and other things. Anyway, if you're interested in my comprehensive review on the Paul Rubens, you can just flip through my YouTube channel and you can pretty easily find it. So let's go ahead and try to cram a bunch more new stuff in here. So I would also like to say that you can, in fact, with your um, Midori and the Hobonichi cover, you can fit it in there with the entire box of the watercolors. It is a tight fit, but you can get it in there and you can zip it. And I was very tempted to bring my watercolors after discovering this at this point, but I ended up not bringing them after all. I thought I would go ahead and share my little um, packing tip with you for compact packing of watercolor supplies. Basically, I, um, I tape my watercolor pencils with washi tape into that little center um, vacant area here in the uh, watercolor palette. I tape it in um, basically so the brushes can't move and can't squish themselves up against the, the tips cannot squish themselves up against the end so they won't move and they won't get ruined and they're very well protected in there for travel. For the watercolor brushes with the reservoir, they fit in quite nicely here and because they're sturdy and have um, nice protective caps, there's no, no fear of them getting damaged by just sticking them in the, uh, the interior pockets here. It's also pretty easy to stick a couple of spare watercolor tubes here and there. They fit nicely on um, the outside pockets as well as the inside pockets. So that's kind of pretty much it for what you can jam inside this lovely little case. Um, I did end up fitting in some of my crochet tools and at the very end of this video I will share with you the aftermath. So here's the case post-travel. I've got a lot of corgi fur on it, yes. You can see that I shoved some washi tapes up in the front pocket there. And here's my kitty. She was very upset that we left her but she only has to deal with it for a week in the summertime. <laughs> Inside here you can see where I kind of uh, put my little crochet hooks in the interior pocket and I previously also had my um, stitch markers and stuff in here as well. So it definitely fits crochet stuff as well. And that is pretty much it for this video, and I will end with a little shot of our lake vacation. Um, I hope you had a wonderful summer, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.